Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the sixth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to understand how to receive input from users in C programs. Now you can see that I've saved this file in my C program files folder and it's called scanf and it has the extension .c and um, I've also put in the header file and uh, I've put in the main function, I've declared it and you see the curly braces so we're all set to type in code. Now the way we receive input from users in C programs is by using a function called scanf. Now scanf syntax is pretty similar to the syntax of printf because it's also a function. We're going to see it in action in just a bit. But what we're going to do is we are going to create a variable first and uh, we're going to do that because the input that we're going to receive from the user we'll have to store it somewhere, right? So we store it in the location of the variable in the memory and um, for this program, I'm going to create an integer and we're going to use an integer variable and uh, we'll have to declare the integer first and you do that by typing in int space name of the variable which, um, well let me just call it a and I'll put a semicolon at the end to terminate the statement and now I'm going to use printf to display a message to the user on screen instructing him what he has to do. So we'll just display enter a number, put a colon at the end I put a semicolon to terminate this statement and now we're going to type in scanf and we just type in s c a n f followed up with a pair of parentheses and scanf receives two arguments the first one informs scanf the kind of input that it has to receive and since um, we're dealing with an integer here we'll have to type in the percentage d format specifier so within double quotation marks you type in percentage d and uh, the second argument that scanf takes is the address of the variable in memory and the way you obtain the address of a variable from its name is by using the address of operator and which is the ampersand symbol or the and symbol right so firstly the two arguments have to be separa separated with the comma symbol so you put in a comma and then you type in the ampersand symbol and then the name of the variable which is a right you put in a semicolon to terminate this statement and now we will type in printf again, we will use printf but this time to display the value that has been obtained as input. So let's first display a message like uh, the value stored in a is put a colon and then you obviously have to type in the percentage d format specifier again because we are displaying an integer and then you put a comma symbol and this time you just type in the name of the variable without the address of operator because we are interested in displaying the value, right? We're not interested in the address here. You put a semicolon to execute, sorry, terminate this statement, save the file, and now I'll click on build and run to see what happens. And uh, there you go, I get my output window, and uh, I see the message enter a number. So let me just type in 10, and 10 is an integer. I'll put, I press the enter key, and I see the output as the value stored in A is 10, right? So there you go, it's very simple to receive input and uh, you have to use the scanf function and you've seen how the scanf function works and um, that's it for now in the next tutorial we're going to discuss something interesting again so stay tuned for updates and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already see you soon